Hi, I'm Oliver Noyes from Oliver Stickers and now I would like to show you how to create a sticker template from an image that is scanned. I usually receive sticker templates from my customers. They scan uh, one face or multiple face of a puzzle uh, next to a ruler and uh, from that I can measure uh, each stickers and create a template. Now I will show you uh, an example. For example, uh, this is uh, one puzzle that I've received uh, not too long ago. This is the Diane Bermuda Star 2. Uh, it's only the top face, uh, but I have template for the other sides. Uh, it's not a simple square sticker uh, and template. It's a bit different, but uh, it is not too hard uh, to create. First, uh, I just scale the image. Uh, from the pixel size, I know uh, it needed to be this size. Uh, but if there is a ruler, uh, you can just simply uh, adjust the size to the one that you want. Okay, first. I usually draw a perfect square uh, around the puzzle or a perfect uh, dodecahedron or anything else, pentagon, etc. Uh, in this case, the easiest one is a uh, square. If you push down the control button, then uh, draw a square, it will be equal. Now that you can see that the image is not uh, correctly aligned, so you need to rotate it a bit. I use the square to have a, a more or less aligned puzzle. Of course, during the scan, uh, some pieces can move a bit uh, because of the tolerance. That's why it is just a proximate uh, fit. Okay. So, what about this one? Now it looks good to me. I know that the puzzle is a bit smaller than uh, 57 millimeter. So let's make it. 55 with arrow buttons I can move looks more or less nice to me okay that way it's okay now I have a middle point and uh, corners I usually use uh, guidelines And now I copy the square and rotate it 45 degrees. Now I have uh, the corner pieces, the these ones, and uh, I've got the whole outline of the puzzle. I usually draw uh, the inter intersection lines and cut out from this uh, whole thing, and see how it uh, creates uh, the small stickers so first of all grab this one and uh, rescale it copy paste and rescale it with uh, minus 4 and minus 4 millimeters that looks okay to me Sometimes uh, stickers are not uh, applied correctly, so that's why they can move uh, left, right, up or down a bit. This looks nice to me. I do it with the other one. So 45 degree turn. I copied it and uh, made a 45 degree turn. Now I've got the sticker outline like that so I don't need these ones 
this one this one is Davat. Delete. And uh, in these cases I usually merge the two. So now I've got this whole outline. I can now draw this inner 3x3 three three grid. First I I just uh, turn uh, 45 degree because I think it's easier to draw horizontal and vertical lines. Okay, let's see. This looks 3.5 millimeter to me. Okay. Correct. Okay. I move the rotation point to the center, and uh, in here the object properties. But you can, uh, if you using the Corel Draw, and uh, this shortcut is not in here, you can add many, many different uh, editing tools. I've got the transformation here, uh, and it has the rotation part. I know it needs to be turned 90 degrees and three times. Now I've got all the intersections. With holding the shift key down, I select all, merge them, and if I uh, push down the uh, shift button and select this yellow outline thing, I've got multiple options here and I use the front minus back option. This will create the stickers. That was, I think, really simple. Now I need to make the roundings. I know that these ones, these four corners, are not rounded, but they are chamfered. So, uh, okay, that's too much. Two millimeter, two millimeter. That looks nice to me. Okay. And all the rest are filleted, rounded, usually use one or two millimeters. Let's see how it looks. If you hit uh, the number here and just uh, click on the fillet, you can see the roundings here. Now I know that I need to deselect these because the rounding need to be a bit more there. So I just control E A control A select all and with holding the shift key down I de deselect these. Okay. And hit the two millimeter rounding, all the roundings are done. Again control E control A. No. I made a mistake. Sorry. Because I need to des deselect these ones as well. The 2mm rounding. Okay, now it's better. And Ctrl A. Deselect these. And make a 4mm rounding. There. Looks much better. And I've got the sticker template. I uh, make an uh, outline, back outline to make, make it better. It is a uh, right click in here. It just selects all the guidelines, delete them. Now I've got the template, but I can cut with my machines. That's all for today. I will show you a more uh, editing
a bit later later video I hope you find this uh, small demonstration informative if you do so please uh, subscribe to my videos and uh, my Facebook page as well thank you for watching